They say that when you buy new clothes, you should ask yourself, can I think of three outfits I can wear this with? Well, to that I say, hold my beer. I mean, my green tea. I bought four pieces these last couple of months and I wanted to show you guys a few looks that I can make with things that are already in my closet and also the reasoning behind why I chose to include these pieces in my wardrobe. This first piece is a striped t-shirt from H&M. Stripes are a classic pattern and I absolutely love them. They will never go out of style. This is a heavy weight organic cotton t-shirt, so hopefully it will last quite a long time. I really have to get better at getting t-shirts for my closet because I really don't have them, but I want to pick up t-shirts that are very classic and basic and I think this one does the job really well. I like the distance of the stripes in this t-shirt and I also like the white collar. This is a relaxed fit but not oversized in any means and it's black and white but it could also pass as navy, a very dark navy blue. So it gives me a lot of versatility. I have been paying more attention to my style words when buying new items and this t-shirt fits into the classic and I would say the elegant style words that I have for myself even though it is a more casual piece. This next piece is a midi skirt that I picked up at Walmart. It doesn't have a tag specifying what the material is, but it's very soft, so I don't think it's 100% polyester. I might be wrong. I do think it probably is a viscose or a rayon blend. I really like the pattern on this. It's sort of a snake print, but in a blue and beige tone with a white backdrop. I find that midi skirts are one of the easiest pieces that I can buy because I can put them where they should sit on my waist and also they normally hit me at a flattering point on my legs. Since I have a high waist, it's really hard for me to find pants and shorts that fit me correctly, but with skirts, I don't have that problem and I am just a little bit obsessed with midi skirts and that's basically all I've bought for the last couple of years. And although this pattern has a different coloration from most animal prints, I do think that animal prints are also a classic style and the coloration is very neutral, so I also think that this could be a staple that I could wear for a long time. In regards to my style words, this skirt fits into the classic and the elegant, um, both because of the pattern and also because of the silhouette. This third piece is a paper bag style tailored shorts from Target. I cannot tell you how much I suffered this summer with not feeling like myself in the clothing I was wearing because it was missing the tailored element and at the end of summer I finally found these tailored shorts. They are super ultra high-waisted as you can see and they even look high-waisted on me. It's funny because when I buy pants or shorts that are labeled as high-waisted they kind of hit me mid-rise instead of high waist and this one actually does hit me high waist so i am absolutely obsessed with them they also match a lot of reference images that i have pinned on my pinterest board so i was just so happy to have found these shorts at target I usually don't buy pieces that are in this shade of brown, but I thought that it would be fun to try out. And also I think it's a very neutral color that can work with a lot of what I already have in my closet. So when I've worn these shorts, I have felt so much like myself and that they represent really well my personal style. And I think this is because they actually have three of my four style words. So this one is classic, it's elegant, and it's tailored. So as I am figuring out 
the more style words a piece has, the more I identify with it um, within my style. This next piece is a long cardigan from Cyrus. I bought this at TJ Maxx, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was around $20. I am obsessed with long cardigans. I really like the way they elongate my silhouette. I realized by looking through old outfit pictures that for some reason I have a tendency to pick pieces that are more form fitting and that really show off my figure and I don't think that really matches the style I'm trying to create now. So I like this kind of cardigan because it really plays down my silhouette and even when I'm wearing tighter fitting pants and leggings it still gives me a balance that I can't get if everything is just very form fitting. This is the fourth long cardigan that I have bought. I have three other in different colors and I thought that I'd try for a black. I've been avoiding wearing black for practically most of my style journey because I read somewhere that black isn't necessarily flattering on everybody and it could be very harsh and so I kind of subconsciously went away from buying anything black and concentrated a lot of my things and my darker neutrals on navy. But since I started learning more about skin undertone and contrast, I do have a very high personal contrast and so black actually looks good on me I think. Um, I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments. but. I have started exploring wearing black again and seeing how much I like it. So let's see what's going to happen with this one. This cardigan is elegant and is also classic so it fits into my style words. I style these pieces that I bought with six pieces that are already in my closet including within each other but I could have styled them with so many other pieces because the way I am curating my closet really lends itself to that, but I obviously couldn't have put it all in one video because it would have taken forever to film. I'm starting a playlist with all of my hauls and in a few months I will be back to show you what more I've been including in my wardrobe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.